Hello Internet, my name is Vedrit, and welcome back to my monthly development update video for The False World. Now, before we jump into the updates, I've got an announcement. Um, it was brought to my attention that I never properly introduced the artists on the team. Uh, for those of you that noticed in the description for the last update video, the artist got some special credits. Uh, the artist is Claudia. Uh, she's been contributing to the project for quite some time now, and I never got around to introducing her. So, there's that, and let's look forward to uh, future contributions. Um, as far as updates go, um, there's not been much this past month. Um, <laughs> Life has been pretty hectic once again. Um, I've been working out and work has gotten incredibly busy this past month. I'm hoping that in the coming weeks that it won't be quite so busy uh, and I'll be able to continue working at work, <laughs> working on the project at work. Um, John has been focused on his schooling. He also took a quick break and participated in a competition. Um, Claudia has been occupied with her own job, so we've all just kind of been focusing on real life matters. Uh, that is not to say that there has not been any work, of course. Uh, most of what I've been doing has been server side. Uh, we ran into a bit of a problem where the server would lock up if we had two people connect. Any more than that, of course, was irrelevant. Um, you will notice that uh, there have been some changes to the login screen. We've got a nice fancy text here and some background stuff. Um, John decided to grab something and and make a cool little placeholder here. Um, I don't know about the entire scene, but this building is uh, Medieval House by AA Games. You can find it on the Unity Asset Store. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and log in here. So, um, like I say, not a whole lot that would be visible. Um, John spent quite a bit of time working on the, the scripts that handle character movement. Um, <laughs> there have been numerous problems, and as you can see, there are still some issues where if we turn the camera around, it kind of glitches out. Um, we're not 100% certain on what's causing it, but it's a bit annoying and can be quite disorienting. There was a bug where if you jumped, sometimes you would continue sliding around. Um, John spent a bit of time working on that, and it appears that that has been resolved. So we're no longer sliding around. And we also spent a lot of time working on uh, getting character information to sync between the one client, the server, and other clients. So I'm going to load up another client here and show you the result of that. We've got another person loaded in there. Oops, not that. There we go. And as we turn around, we can see in the background there that everything is moving around. Of course, animation isn't synced up yet. Um, that is going to take quite a bit of work to, to figure out. Um, 
But using the system that we have in place, this will very quickly lead to the next stage of persistence. I mean, already you have character name and stats persisting between sessions, but soon, uh, and this will be a relatively quick fit implementation, uh, soon your position will be saved. So where you are when you log off will be saved and you'll be placed there when you next log in. So pretty handy. Um, as you can see, there are still some uh, minor details that we need to work out. But, uh, yeah, um, we are planning on having a stress test just to see how many players we can get on the server before it starts freaking out. Um, not 100% sure on the details on that just yet. Um, I will be posting the details for that when I get those, when we get that all sorted out. Um, I'll be posting that to the Dust Job Studios Twitter, as well as various and assorted other locations. So keep an eye out on those if you are following us. Um, I think that just about does it. So until next time, be good.